not me laughing hysterically at myself because I in fact um, filmed multiple videos hands down 100% with my camera crooked like crooked well good old who who delivered this I don't know mailman somebody busted again so fingers crossed I don't know um I may have made my pics you guys know how it is I never remember if I did but this is my box of charm by Ipsy and matter of fact I think nope I thought my bag came in at Taily, so I only have this to unbox for you guys. Um, but it's my box charm by Ipsy for June. So stay tuned for that. We got two stickers on her too. I don't know if that means it got busted open and they resealed it or not. So that's fun. Anyways, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name's Rhonda over here. We play makeup, we unbox makeup, we talk a lot. Queen talk a lot. We drink lots of coffee because we are coffee strong all day long. And it, you know, you get to pick three out of the five products. And I am filming on a new camera, so I'm trying not to stare over here. Which, you guys, my get ready with me legitimately looks like my eyes are crossed <laughs> because I'm like constantly <laughs> trying to look at you guys, but then over here. So my eyes are doing this. You chose to click on a channel that started with hot mess. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in to the BoxyCharm by Ipsy Bust of the House box. Uh, so this, I don't honestly even remember anymore. So I think it's like after tax, oh my. After tax, it's about $34 now. Yeah, so you typically are, oh my gosh, getting high-end products. Man, I got a lot of thoughts. Let's just jump on in to this. Um, the first item, I didn't cut the video. So you see, this is how she came, which is weird. Not even in a box, but maybe, I can't remember. Anyways, the J-Lo That J-Glow Serum. Uh, so it's a, a tighten and brighten kind of serum, which I've tried the J-Lo Beauty products before, and that's... Okay, it's not been used, so that's nice. Honestly, I don't recall being overly thrilled with what my choices were this time around. Next in here is the Glow Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant. I'm pretty sure I picked this out because I ran out of my first and I needed another one. And we did get one that was like pink. And I forget the brand that it was by a couple months back. I feel like it was more of an affordable brand. And I, I like it, but it just doesn't work like the Verst does. So I wanted to try this one before I went ahead and repurchased the Verst. It smells nice and clean and very spa-esque. So if you guys have tried the Grown Alchemist one, let me know down below because I'm definitely going to be using that tonight. All right, next in here we have the REM Beauty Blurring Primer. And it says Luna Magic, but it, it looks like it's got a... A color to it so I'll have to do a get ready with me with some of the products from oh what it, it does have like a light tint to it like maybe okay it kind of feels like a silicone primer similar to what Smashbox has but it's like a really light bluey color coming out of the out of the bottle so again I think this was one of my picks we'll see how it works on my skin glass lip gloss and this is what that one looks like. Um, have I had this before? I liked the colors. You guys know me. I prefer more of like a pinky type of lip because I drink so much coffee. I want something with more of a blue undertone than like an orange one. So, I mean, these are kind of pretty. They're kind of on the warmy side, but I don't know. I'm, I'm falling flat, y'all. I'm really falling flat here. Alright. Last in here. There is a freaking hair in the box. Let me get my camera. Okay, I don't want to clip this. Um 
I mean, you all see what my hair looks like. So you guys are now getting um, what I'm seeing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That, that's definitely not a hair that came from me. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> That's disgusting. That is obviously some random person's hair. My box was busted and damaged. So, yeah. And that was the side. Uh-huh. That was the side that had like a hole in it. I put that, um, can this be opened? Okay. Oh, it can be unscrewed. Ew. <laughs> okay. So there was a seal on this. There was not a seal on this. Thankfully, I only put that on my hand. The last item in it, and, um, these were in a box. So... <laughs> Well, that's awkward. All right, so next I picked the Lunar Beauty lip pencils that were in a box. So um, the shades that I got was Doodle and Bl Blushing. This looks really light. Oh, no, it's actually really pretty. Blushing and then Doodle. Let's see. Okay, so I've never tried the Lunar Beauty lip liners before, and I really liked the way that they swatch. The shades are really pretty. That was one of my picks. I really like the Lunar Beauty formula for the eyeshadow and the blushers, so I assumed I was probably going to like this, and I do. And the colors will match the pink lips well. Um, the thoughts on the box, honestly, 100%, I am so oh, underwhelmed and disgusted. <laughs> I don't think this is Ipsy's fault. I don't think it's BoxyCharm's fault. Um, I definitely think it was more of like the mail system and all the different handling, busting the box and, you know, shedding. Obviously, we see that was not my hair. I'm a germaphobe, guys. Like, I am such a germaphobe, so that, like, grosses me out so hard. But, um, you know, we're just, we're just going to push through. Uh, anyways, let me know your thoughts. Listen, here's the thing. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. I just unboxed my Ice Cream Beauty box and the Ice Cream Beauty bag. That video is pro probably already up. And I feel like for $25, yes, I'm getting brands that maybe I haven't heard of before, like Delancey or CZ or what have you, or indie brands. But I feel like this one it wasn't bad I think I'm just really so over the skincare side of things that I just want the makeup heavy again you know what I mean like I am happy I got the primer I'm really happy I got the liners especially since they feel like a nice gel formula and they're definitely wearable shades that I will most definitely wear and they pair nicely with the lip so I think, all in all, am I missing something? One, two, three, four, and, and this. So I maybe this is what was picked for me, and I picked the other stuff. So again, it was just, to me, depending on how you look at it, like for me, primer kind of bumps into skincare. I don't know. I miss, like, the Natasha Denona palettes or even like the small five pin palettes I mean heck the chic beauty box just gave us the Charlotte Tilbury quad like there's just some things that I feel like it's kind of missing with my BoxyCharm by Ipsy you know like anybody else feeling that what would I have liked to have seen a palette. A palette. That, I think that would have changed. Like, take this out. I could have lived without this. 
give me a palette. Whether it be the, the Charlotte Tilbury or Natasha Denona, heck, give me an Ofra Cosmetics palette, you know? Those get me more excited. I would like to see more options for that. Like when they, and I know that they say like, go check your profile. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I've just been filming too much. Maybe I'm getting a little too sassy. Maybe I need to eat. I bet you I need to eat. No, I did have a snack. I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. I think I'm just ho-hum about, like, although this is very much needed, I'm really not needing the J.Lo Beauty Glow stuff. You know, I'm really not needing a new primer. So I'm, I'm wishing... I wish that the selection was bigger. Like when I went in and I was looking at purchasing things with the Ipsy like shop, they had like the one size beauty, they had the foundation, they what else did they have in there? They had like a bunch of different makeup that I would have rather seen in my box versus purchasing. You know what I mean? So I'm a little ho hum. Like for me, I would have rather have this been in the shop and maybe gotten like the the one size foundation to try out or one of the powders or something you know i don't know let me know you guys' thoughts down below like if if boxycharm or by ipsy were to change things up what would you like them to add to it you know i'm definitely curious i'm very happy with the lunar beauty don't get me wrong there these i think these are going to be definite liners that your girl's going to be reaching for. I love these shades. I think they're really pretty. They applied really nicely. So that I'm really happy with. But I, I don't know. I, I want to see more. Like a lot more. It did come with a pamphlet, by the way. I never read them. I miss the cards personally. Uh, half the time I don't even understand them. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below. It's a ho hummer for me. Anyways, if you are interested in trying out Ipsy, I know this probably sold you on trying them. I do have a, an affiliate link for you guys down below. If you know, if you want to sign up and use it, cool. Thank you. I will earn a commission. If not, totally understand. Uh, so let me know your thoughts down below. Were you a little ho hum? I would have rather the Fenty perfume, the travel perfume. Oh, that's a sneak peek for July. Well, fingers crossed. We'll see. Check me out on my other channels. And of course, check Haley and I out over on Spotify, Unconditional Hot Mess. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Hot Mess Memo 4. And until next time, friends, as always, kisses from Kentucky. Bye.